Following the release of Spare, there were whispers that Prince Harry couldn't have possibly done the book without the help of Meghan Markle. In fact, royal author Tom Bauer is convinced that Meghan was the driving force behind the memoir. His book is really Meghan's book. Meghan is the person who's dictated the agenda, Bauer said. The royal biographer also insisted that Markle writing Prince Harry's memoir made sense because she was always on the lookout for the next platform that she could use to spread her insights on various causes. She wanted to be Angelina Jolie, a celebrity and a famous influencer, but she was irrelevant. Being with Harry gave her the opportunity, and she played him from the start. Harry was groomed by Meghan. Her wedding guests were all Hollywood members, not family, which shows her agenda. She always wanted to go back to Hollywood, Bauer said. There are ongoing whispers that it's only a matter of time before she releases her own book. A source recently told OK Magazine that Meghan fully intends to start working on her own memoir. She intends to write this book and leave no stone unturned. It's just a question of timing and how long she wishes to hold out in order to preserve what's left of her and Harry's relationship with King Charles. The feeling at this point is there's little to lose and she may as well go ahead. The process is already quietly underway, the source said. A second source said that it would be more surprising if Markle doesn't write her own memoir. After all, she has a lot of experiences and personal stories that she might want to share with the world. I'd find it surprising if Meghan didn't publish her own story, to be honest. Spare is clearly Prince Harry's chance to tell his, but hers is equally compelling. I mean, how many actresses end up marrying a prince? If she's harbouring political ambitions, it would make even more sense, the source said. Meghan Markle hasn't made any comments on Prince Harry's book Spare because it's undermined her brand, according to a Raw commentator. Speaking on GB News, Nar Gardner, who once worked as an aide to former Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, also claimed that the couple underestimated the size of the backlash to Harry's explosive memoir. Offering his explanation as to why Meghan has remained tight-lipped since the book was published earlier this month, Gardner said, After all, she treated Harry like a useful idiot for many years, and now Harry is undermining the Meghan brand and obviously she's not happy about it. Mr Gardner went on to suggest the book, which contains a number of bombshell revelations about the royal family, has been a spectacular disaster for the image and standing of Harry and Meghan. Royal commentator Angela Epstein agreed with Mr Gardner's analysis, saying, There's no doubt that Harry has commoditized every aspect of his life, and he deserves all the criticism he's got because he fired the first salvo. Appearing alongside Gardner on GB News, she said, Nothing is sacred when it comes to Prince Harry. Miss Epstein continued, So-called private conversations have been paraded all over the place. He's targeted people he knows cannot answer back mainly his brother and sister-in-law and father, because of the never-explain, never-complain philosophy that underpins the palace's strategy. That may be so, but controversy appears to have helped rather than hindered Harry's book sales.